The Delhi police will now probe a global conspiracy. This after it filed an FIR against the creators of a toolkit that was tweeted by Swedish teen activist Greta Thunberg. The Delhi police said that now a one that no one has been named in that FIR. The FIR has been filed under sections of sedition criminal conspiracy and promoting disharmony. The police say the toolkit was authored by a pro-Khalistan group. She had actually shared a toolkit on Twitter which had uh, links to uh, what to do for the protest, how to help the, the farmers protest, etc. The police have now filed an FIR of conspiracy and hate speech and promoting enmity between groups based on this toolkit and they've said that they're looking for the creators of this toolkit. Um, the police had investigated uh, the toolkit, but what the toolkit actually does, what is it? It is actually a bunch of documents and links. It's actually communicating a plan for the farmers' protest. The police claims that the group has Khalistani links. Multiple organizations have been linked to in the uh, toolkit, including an organization called the Poetic Justice Foundation. The police have now said that this is an organization that has pro-Khalistani links and a pro-Khalistani stance and that they will be investigated as well. उस टूल किट को एक पर्टिकुलर खालिस्तानी प्रो खालिस्तानी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जिसका नाम पोएटिक जस्टिस फाउंडेशन है इस के द्वारा इसकी ऑथरशिप दिखाई गई है और इस डॉक्यूमेंट में एक एक्शन प्लान डेलिनेट किया गया है जिस एक्शन प्लान में ये बताया गया है कि 26 जनवरी के बाद डिजिटल 26 जनवरी उसके आसपास डिजिटल स्ट्राइक करना है एक ट्वीट स्टॉर्म करना है 23 जनवरी के ऑनवर्ड्स एक फिजिकल एक्शन करना है 26 जनवरी को और फार्मर्स प्रोटेस्ट और जो मार्च 26 जनवरी को होना था उसको या तो ज्वाइन करना है या इसको वॉच करना है कैसे ये दिल्ली में प्रवेश करता है और फिर वापस ये बॉर्डर पे जाता है now, the Biden administration waded into the issue of protests and internet restrictions in and around the protest sites, stating that it encouraged differences between parties to be resolved through dialogue. The U.S. administration also said it welcomed steps that would improve the efficiency of India's markets and attract greater private sector investment, a reference to the three farm laws at the center of the protest. But it also flagged the internet ban at protest sites, saying such freedoms were important for a democracy. Now, New Delhi, too, did not hold back and responded to the U.S. administration by drawing parallels between the vandalism at the Red Fort on January 26 and what took place at Capitol Hill on January 6 and said how these were being addressed as per our respective local laws. India and the United States are both vibrant democracies with shared values. The incidents of violence and vandalism at the historic Red Fort on the 26th of January have evoked similar sentiments and reactions in India as did the incidents on the Capitol Hill on the 6th of January and are being addressed as per respective local laws. The temporary measures with regard to internet access in certain parts of the NCR region were therefore understandably undertaken to prevent further violence. Now, after international pop icon Rihanna and lawmakers from the US and UK backed the farmers' agitation on social media, they're now being subjected to a tirade of abuse on social media. Kamala Harris's niece, Amina Harris, shared a tweet which showed her picture even being burnt after she had tweeted on the farmers' protest. NDTV's Meher reports on the hate being faced by many international celebrities on social media. First, the tweets from Rihanna, Greta, and even a UK MP, Claudia Webb drawing attention to the farm protests, and then the inevitable backlash. The UK MP tweeted saying she has received trolling, death threats, rape threats, threats of sexual violence, but she has not been deterred. And so did Greta. Kamala Harris's niece, Mina Harris, who also tweeted in support of the farmers, said, there has been a mob of angry misogynists in her Twitter mentions. Meher Pandey for NDTV. Now, it's the 72nd day of the farmer protests around Delhi against the three contentious farm laws. And there have also been a series of Mahapanchayats that have been held in UP and Haryana in support of the protests over the last couple of days. Now, the Shamli District Administration, however, has denied permission for the fifth Mahapanchayat in West UP at the Beswa village today, citing unruly behavior by farmers at the tractor rally in Delhi on Republic Day and a violation of COVID guidelines by protesters. 
However, there are indications that the organizers will be going ahead with the panchayats. Now, this comes days after similar gatherings or participation of thousands in other parts of UP, including Muzaffar Nagar and Bhagpa, to uh, protest against the farm laws. Now, in a jibe at the administration for invoking Section 144, RLD Vice President Jayan Chaudhary tweeted 144 reasons why I will go to Shamli. So he's expected to go to Shamli today despite permission not being given. Let's go across to Alok Pandey now for more. And Alok, it seems there will be some sort of standoff in Shamli today. Uh, well, I think that depends on whether the administration wants to actively discourage or stop uh, these people from coming into Shamli to actually attend the Mahapanchayat Gaji because uh, the organizers have already said very clearly that they are going to go ahead. The administration says 144 is in place and that uh, they will not allow any large gatherings. Uh, but I, I mean, it's a little difficult for me to say right now how this will pan out. But the indication that we have got is that the Mahapanchayat will go ahead and there won't be any active intervention, so to say, like a possible intervention from the administration. But then I guess one will have to wait till, say, about 11 a.m. to noon to see what is happening. Uh, what I want to point out also, Gaji, is the fact that there have been different standards adopted by different administrations of districts in Western UP, where these Mahapanchayats have happened. You have already spoken about how there was one in Bakhpat, one in Muzaffarnagar, I can count one in Mathura, one in Bijnor, where these uh, things went ahead. And uh, in fact, in one of them, a, a local government official had even gone there and said that, you know, if I have acted in any high-handed manner, then, you know, I apologize, etc., etc., then you had a situation where a lot of farmers are trying to go from these Western UP districts to the Ghazipur border, where Rakesh Tikayat of the Bharati Kitan Union is leading a protest. Now, again, different districts have different standards. Like in some districts, they are allowing factors to go through. In other districts, the police captain or the SSP or the SP is standing and saying, Ki bhai, hum kisi ko jane denge, or ye hai, it's an illegal protest. So uh, there doesn't seem to be a uniformity in the way the UP government or the local administration there towards Western UP is dealing with this. Uh, like you said, uh, the organizers, including Jan Chaudhary of the RLD, have already said that they're going to go ahead irrespective. All right, uh, Alok, thanks so much for joining us there with those details. And Bharti Kisan Union leader Rakesh Tikayat has said that there will be a three-hour-long chakka jam on the February 6th. That's on Saturday everywhere outside the national capital. He said that the people who will be stuck in it would also be provided with food and water and will know what the government was doing to the farmers. खैर तारीख की रणनीति यह है कि तीन घंटे का जाम रहेगा दिल्ली में तो होगा नहीं और दिल्ली के बाहर वो रहेगा पूरे देश भर का रहेगा वो मामला वहां पे रहेगा और जो गाड़ियां उसमें आवेगी रुकेंगी उनको लंगर का पानी का भोजन का चने का मूंगफली का वो उनको सब करवाओगे और बताओगे सरकार की भाई ये सरकार कर रही है हमारे साथ में नहीं मैं अपने आप गांव वाले कर रहे हैं घटा थनबर्ग और मियां खलीफा इन जैसे कलाकारों ने और मैं मैं जगह पता कर रहा होगा मैं क्या होने जाना होगा now, the focus of the two-month-long uh, farmer protests at the border of Delhi shifted firmly to uh, western Uttar Pradesh with many opposition politicians visiting the family of the farmer killed in Delhi on Republic Day and others raising the issue in Parliament. Some opposition MPs also visited the Ghazipur border but were stopped from meeting farmers. <laughs> Fifteen MPs, ten opposition parties, including Punjab's Akali Dal, to Tamil Nadu's DMK at East Delhi's Ghazipur border. Their aim to see the fortifications, nails in the road, concrete barriers built into the road, yards and yards of barbed wire, all to keep protesting farmers from Western UP out of the capital. Their second aim to meet the farmers could not be achieved. I can't believe it. I've never seen something like this. Maybe probably at the borders, but I'm not even sure when at our country borders we have seen such extreme aggression. I'm surprised that we have MPs have come. Today they have been imprisoned in a fortified manner where there is no food, no electricity, no water. 
God forbid if if there's a fire inside or someone has a heart attack, no ambulance, no fire brigade, nothing can do. They can't even ring up because there's no electricity. MPs from eight political parties have reached here to take a stock of the situation that what exactly is happening at the protest sites. Uh, looking at the intense fortifications, the party leaders, the MPs who have come here are also questioning the intense uh, arrangement that have been made by the administration, questioning the need for it at a protest site that is being organized by the farmers. Opposition politicians, including Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, the RLD's Jayant Chaudhary, and those from the Samajwadi Party, today visited the Rampur village of Navreet Singh, the farmer killed on Republic Day in Delhi. The Delhi police has denied he was shot and said he was killed when his tractor overturned. The UP government has said his post-mortem report says the death was from injuries from the tractor accident and no bullet was found. In Parliament, the opposition questioned the need for such intensive barricading at Delhi's borders and raised the issue of Navreet's death. अगर जेपी को इन खाई बाड़ों कटीले तार देखना पड़ता तो क्या होता सर? 26 जनवरी, I just imagine if that tractor incident, that unfortunate tractor incident where a farmer died under mysterious circumstances, imagine if that had happened in Maharashtra or in Bengal, who is in charge of law and order there? All I'm saying. Is that the truth be told? I'm not coming to any conclusions. Let the truth come out. 2019 का अगर हम कांग्रेस पार्टी का चुनाव घोषणा पत्र पढ़ें सभापति महोदय, उस समय के हमारे कृषि मंत्री जी, परम आदरणीय शरद पवार जी, 2010 में और 11 में हर एक मुख्यमंत्री को चिट्ठी लिखी थी। कि ये जुबान बदलने की आदत हमें बंद करनी होगी। जितने अच्छे ढंग से वे यूपीए सरकार में सरकार का पक्ष रखते थे, उतना ही अच्छे ढंग से उन्होंने आज भाजपा का पक्ष रखा है। वाह जी महाराज। प्लीज प्लीज। हमेशा रहें। Back in Western UP, after a series of महापंचायत्स, the state government has denied permission for another one, this time in Shamli. About 100 kilometers from Delhi. Such gatherings in the last few days are seen to have provided a fresh impetus to the protests, particularly in Western UP. The organizers, the Bharati Kisan Union and Ajit Singh's RLD, have said they will go ahead anyway. With Akshay Dongre, Parimal Sinha, and Tamkeen Fayaz, this is Alok Pandey, NDTV. Now, internet curbs are still in place in some districts of Haryana and the continued internet suspension is now a big concern for students who are preparing for the board exams and also for those appearing for competitive exams. Dave is a class 10 student from Haryana's Kethal district, one of the five districts where the internet has been suspended. Like many others, he was preparing for his board exams. In the time of COVID, most of the learning is online. But now, with the net down, he can't access his laptop. Even those appearing for competitive exams are facing problems. Like Sunana from Kettle who is enrolled with a coaching center in New Delhi for online classes to prepare for the neat exams. Now she says she has to move around the district trying to find a spot with working internet. तो सारा टाइम तो हम कहीं और रह नहीं सकते घर ही होते हैं जहाँ पे कि किसी भी टाइम क्लासेस ले सकते हैं हम ऑनलाइन तो यही मेन 
कोज है कि नहीं अटेंड हो पा रही है क्लासेस सही से द इंटरनेट सर्विस स्टिल रिमेन सस्पेंडेड इन टू डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हरियाणा Sonipur district which has Singhu border and Jhajjar district which has Tikri border and both of these locations have been witnessing a major anti farm laws protest for more than 2 months but there are hundreds of professionals and students who hope that now the government will lift the curb from entire state with Sunil Ravish in Kethal in Chandigarh Mohammad Ghazali for Indi TV Welcome back stand up comedian Munawar Farooq is a plea for bail in a case filed against him for allegedly insulting gods and goddesses during a show will be heard by the Supreme Court today he was denied bail by the Madhya Pradesh High Court on January 28 a complaint by BJP MLA Sun that the comedian made objectionable remarks on Hindu deities in a show in Indore led to his arrest on the 1st of January five others were also arrested with him Mr Farooq's lawyer had argued that he had been invited by the organizers of the show and was present but had not made any such jokes that day but the court rejected Uh, that plea saying that the possibility of more incriminating material could not be ruled out as investigations was still on Now over 21% of India's population aged 10 years and above showed evidence of past exposure to COVID in the ICMR's latest national zero survey the government said noting that a large proportion of people are still vulnerable to infection Sukiti Devedi reports One in every 5 individuals has covid antibodies meaning they've been infected at some stage. The government today said its survey found the zero prevalence at 21.5% of India's population. That effectively means roughly 29 crore people have been infected with covid compared to the confirmed 1.07 crore cases. This zero survey ne ye dikhaya hai ki pandemic desh mein aage badhi hai. 21, 22 प्रतिशत लोग कवर हो गए हैं जितने भी एंटीबॉडी के बेसिस पे हमें अंडरस्टैंडिंग आती है कि इतना पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया हैज बीन इन्फेक्टेड द सर्वे फाउंड मोर चिल्ड्रन हैड बीन इन्फेक्टेड विद कोविड देन एनी अदर एज ग्रुप इंक्लूडिंग दोज अब 60 इयर्स ओल्ड The government highlighted that a large population is still susceptible to the virus and that is why increased precautions need to be continued even as the vaccinations continue on track a dozen states have inoculated over half the targeted healthcare workers abhi tak humne 43 lakh 91826 healthcare workers ko vaccinate kiya hai which is 45% of the universe The government today responded to questions over vaccine vials expiring given how on some days very few are used not a single dose will be wasted because we could not administer before the expiry dose so be totally rest assured we are monitoring this on a on a daily basis nearly 46 lakh people have been vaccinated in india till today afternoon and india plans to vaccinate a total of 30 crore people by july 2021 In New Delhi this is Sukirti Devedi for NDTV. Now vaccination for frontline workers including police personnel, civil defense personnel and municipal workers has started in many states here's a report from Rajasthan. 38 year old Manohar Lal after serving long duty hours in quarantine centers and crowded bus depots finally relief. Manohar Lal is among Delhi's civil defense personnel who received the covid vaccine on Thursday. meant for frontline workers parivar se alag reh ke day night time parivar walon ko nahi de pate the logo ki safety ke liye ghar se bahar rehna padta tha kabhi bhi call aati to jana padta tha order follow karne padte the usme koi timing nahi hoti thi 12 ghante bhi ho jaye 16 ghante bhi ho jaye 24 ghante bhi ho jaye vaccination for frontline workers include the police civil defense personnel municipal workers in delhi there are a total of 6 lakh frontline workers who will receive the jab in the second phase in rajasthan all district collectors across 33 districts took the vaccine there are 2.4 lakh frontline workers who will be inoculated in the second phase but looking for a good photo op the health department began the drive with the senior most officials in districts we need to understand that uh, pandemics and uh, especially influenza pandemics and respiratory illness pandemics they are a cyclic phenomena so they come for a while of course after a while they go away but then there is a tendency to reoccur rajasthan has in the first phase inoculated 66% healthcare workers and along with madhya pradesh has the best track record in the country 
for COVID vaccines so far. With Sukirti Divedi in Delhi, in Jaipur, Harsha Kumari Singh, NDTV. Welcome back. India's Monetary Policy Committee will meet for the last time this financial year. Days after the central government presented its union budget, experts believe that uh, the committee is likely to hold interest rates and continue with accommodative policy stance so that necessary monetary action can be taken to push growth. The MPC will keep the key benchmark rate unchanged in its last three reviews and current repo rate is a record low of 4%. Well, let's go across to NDTV's uh, Purva for more. And Purva, ever since the budget uh, announcement, uh, the uh, stock markets have been rallying and now everyone looking uh, for the announcement in the monetary policy. Yes, that's right. In fact, after the budget announcement, which the markets cheered completely, uh, the RBI monetary policy is also not for, it feels like it is not going to disappoint the market that the market uh, players have uh, discounted the fact that they have they feel that the market rbi policy will keep the rates unchanged so currently the rates are at a record low the interest rate repo rates are at record low of four percent and uh, the rbi is expected to keep the rates unchanged and also it stands uh, at accommodative which means that uh, in the future it will change its stance uh, depending on uh, the need for growth and looking at the inflation target also speaking about inflation, then the December inflation was uh, quite low. So whether RBI will uh, revise its target for inflation or not is also that something that needs to be seen. But more than growth and inflation, it is the liquidity part that the RBI this time, uh, everyone is seen on look, uh, looking at RBI's comment on liquidity part. Because there is abundant liquidity in the system and also in the budget. Uh, the government has announced uh, massive infra projects as well. Uh, and uh, they have, uh, so that is also something that everyone will be uh, keen on uh, looking at RBI's, uh, you know, uh, RBI, uh, how it will uh, go ahead helping the government in terms of the borrowing or the, on the liquidity front. So these are some key points that the market players will be looking out for. The commentary on liquidity and also on the borrowing, that is something that the market players want to know. As far as the rates are concerned, the interest rates are concerned, that uh, the market players believe that the RBI will keep it unchanged. Uh, there won't be any changes in the repo rate uh, front. But liquidity is something that everyone will be keen to watch out for. All right, uh, Purva, thanks so much for joining us with those details. And uh, the markets seem especially optimistic and buoyant, opening over uh, 51,000. The Sensex opening over 51,000 for the first time. With that time for us to slip into a short break. On the other side, we'll uh, focus on politics in West Bengal. Stay with us. Welcome back. Let's focus now on West Bengal and top BJP leaders are heading to Bengal for the weekend. All eyes on elections, of course, and BJP President J.P. Nadda is in Kolkata to flag the first of five Rath Yatras across the state uh, from uh, the Nabab Dwip in uh, District Nadia. A PIL filed against the Rath Yatras is likely to be heard on the 9th of February. The Prime Minister is in Haldia on Sunday to dedicate four projects worth around 4,700 crore in oil, gas and infrastructure sectors. Will Mamta Banerjee attend the official programme? of the Prime Minister, it's not likely, according to sources. Now, election year and in a first, Mamta Banerjee will read out the state's vote on account statement in the Assembly today. Finance Minister Amit Mitra is under medical supervision and requested the Governor and the Speaker to let Mamta Banerjee present the budget instead. Let's go across to Moni Deepa now uh, for more. And Moni, uh, it's going to be an action-packed weekend. Also, uh, Mamta Banerjee will read out the state's vote uh, on account statement today. 
Well, uh, if you want me to start with that, yes, indeed, uh, quite unprecedented, perhaps for the first time ever that Mamta Banerjee will read out the budget, actually a vote of account, given that it's election year in the Assembly today, and this is supposed to happen at 4 o'clock. This is not the only first. We are being told that television cameras will be allowed into the Assembly uh, to actually broadcast live the Chief Minister's uh, you know, uh, presentation of the vote on account. This has uh, upset the opposition and at least the left and the Congress are boycotting uh, the budget presentation today. They feel that the opposition is given no space to speak in the assembly, but a lot of time for publicity and propaganda, they claim, by the ruling party. So an interesting session. BJP MLAs will be present in the House so far, we know. But the weekend, oh yes indeed, it plan looks like it's going to be really packed. Mr. J.P. Nadda is coming in tonight. Tomorrow in the morning, we are hearing, he will actu actually fly to Malda to a sort of a kick off a road show. That is something that the BJP leaders have been doing a lot of in Bengal. Uh, but that will be a road show different from the Rath Yatra that he is supposed to flag off at Nobuddeep in Nadia district in South Bengal later in the day. That is Mr. Nadda. On Sunday, the Prime Minister himself is here in Bengal at Haldia. He will be, as you mentioned, uh, you know, um, unveiling or dedicating at least four 47,000 crore rupee um, projects to the country. Uh, but then after that, we are uh, being told by the BJP that Mr. Narendra Modi will also hold his first election campaign rally in Bengal this poll season at Haldia itself uh, at a public rally that is likely to be very well attended indeed. Remember, Haldia is in East Midnapur district, which is uh, where uh, Shubhendu Adhikari, the Trinamool turned BJP leader, has something of a stronghold and the turnout at that particular rally is something all eyes will be on. And of course, what the Prime Minister has to say. Back to you. All right, Moni, thanks so much for joining us with all those details. Now, stand-up comedian Munawar Farooqi's plea for bail in a case filed against him for allegedly insulting Hindu gods and goddesses during a show will be heard by the Supreme Court today. He was denied bail by the Madhya Pradesh High Court on January 28. A complaint by a BJP MLA's son that the comedian had made objectionable remarks on Hindu deities in a show in Indore led to his arrest on the 1st of January. Five others were also arrested along with him. Now, Mr. Farooqi's lawyer had argued that he had been invited by the organizers of the show and was present but had not made any such jokes that day. But the court had rejected this, saying that the possibility of more incriminating material could not be ruled out as the investigations were still on. Now, the latest on coronavirus in India and over 21% of the population aged 10 years and above showed evidence of past exposure to COVID in the ICMR's latest national zero survey. The government said on Thursday, noting that a large proportion of people are still vulnerable to the infection. Sukirti Divedi reports. One in every five individuals has COVID antibodies, meaning they've been infected at some stage. The government today said its survey found the seroprevalence at 21.5% of India's population. That effectively means roughly 29 crore people have been infected with COVID compared to the confirmed 1.07 crore cases. This zero survey has shown that the pandemic has increased in the country. 21-22% of people have covered. As far as we have on the basis of the understanding aati hai ki itna population of india has been infected the survey found more children had been infected with covid than any other age group including those above 60 years old the government highlighted that a large population is still susceptible to the virus and that is why increased precautions need to be continued even as the vaccinations continue on track a dozen states have inoculated over half the targeted healthcare workers अभी तक हमने 43,91,826 हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स को वैक्सीनेट किया है, which is 45 percent of the universe. The government today responded to questions over vaccine vials expiring, given how on some days very few are used. 
not a single dose will be wasted because we could not administer before the expiry dose. So be totally rest assured. We are monitoring this on a on a daily basis. Nearly 46 lakh people have been vaccinated in India till today afternoon and India plans to vaccinate a total of 30 crore people by July 2021. In New Delhi, this is Sukirti Devedi for NGTV. Now, there have been concerns about India's vaccination drive moving at a slow pace, even though we reached 4 million vaccinations in record time. Now, more voices are demanding that vaccination centers be increased and the private sector be used in the vaccination drive if we're to reach our target of 30 crore vaccinations by the summer. The latest is Biocon's Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, who tweeted, vaccine deployment is way below target. Why can't we advance to institutional vaccination, including companies, colleges and schools and ramp up? Vishnu, the, uh, the process of escalating the speed and the bandwidth of uh, candidates for vaccination is happening uh, consistently. Uh, for the last uh, couple of days, the frontline workers are also being vaccinated. Uh, this is now running into uh, several thousand uh, vaccinations already being given. And very soon, yes, the individuals above the age of 50 years would also be brought in. Uh, and all the three waves will perhaps at some stage will be moving together. But I tell you again that uh, when you're looking at vaccine availability, mm -hmm. please keep in mind that A, we have to give two doses to every individual. B, we are going to cover 30 crore individuals in a finite period of time. And therefore, although at this stage there may be some spare stockpile with our manufacturers, all this will be used up as we go along. We have to look at the overall availability over, let's say, six to eight months and then talk about whether we have spare stockpile or not. So I assure you on that front that the vision to inoculate 30 crore people goes hand in hand with our expected availability of the vaccine, particularly from our two manufacturers. So it looks as if we have spare doses. But then come April or so, when the speed of vaccination will be very, very high, there will be, you know, a narrowing of this particular gap and eventually there will be, there'll be no gap at all. So we are looking at overall planning uh, in keeping with the increasing and uh, emerging stockpile. Now, a spine-chilling incident in Chhattisgarh where a 16-year-old girl was raped and bludgeoned to death before she was dumped in a forest in Korba district. The girl's father and her four-year-old niece were also killed by the accused. Anurag Dwari reports. These six men allegedly gang-raped and killed a 16-year-old girl, her father and his four-year-old granddaughter on 29th January in a forest area under Lame Ripuli Station in Korba district. <laughs> उनके द्वारा उनको शराब पी करके मारना बताया है पत्थर में कुचल करके इसी दौरान विवेचना में भी तथ्य सामने आए हैं कि जो नाबालिग बालिका थी उनके साथ भी दुष्कर्म किए हैं उन आरोपी लोग द्वारा सभी आरोपी को माननीय न्यायालय के समक्ष रिमांड पर भेजा जा रहा है द पुलिस से द विक्टिम वर्कड एज अ कैटल ग्रेजर एट द हाउस ऑफ द मेन अक्यूज्ड ही ऑफर्ड टू ड्रॉप द मैन हिज डॉटर एंड ग्रैंड डॉटर टू द विलेज ऑन हिज मोटरसाइकिल ऑन जन 29 ऑन द वे दे स्टॉप्ड एट अ विलेज एंड ड्रैंक लिकर आफ्टर दिस Five other accused joined him and they raped the girl. Subsequently, they killed the family, smashing them repeatedly with stones and sticks, killing the granddaughter and the father on the spot. They later dumped the rape victim below a rock at the foot of the mountain in a forest and fled. <laughs> As per NCRB in Chhattisgarh, a shocking 57% of rape cases are committed against minors. With Vijay Singh in Korba and camera person Rizwan Khan, Anurag Dwari for NDTV. And finally, popular K-pop band Tomorrow by Together has seen phenomenal success with millions of views in the past year. They spoke exclusively to NDTV's Rohit Khilnani about what worked for them in 2020. Hey guys, I'm Rohit Kilnani. Joining me on NDTV is the popular K-pop band Tomorrow by Together. Good to see you guys. Namaste NDTV, we are Tomorrow by Together. together. It's, it's good, good to see, see you. you. Yeah.
Guys, it's great to have all of you on NDTV. My first question is about the name of your band, Tomorrow by Together. Where did it come from and what does it mean? Our name, Tomorrow by Together, means five who have come together under one dream in hopes of building a better tomorrow. As a team, we hope to give our fans happiness and comfort with our music. Your band was formed in 2019. We are at the start of 2021. Uh, you all saw massive success in such a short span. What do you think worked for your band? Oh, uh, 저희는 늘 제가 음악을 통해서 저희가 할수 있는 또 우리만의 이야기를 또 하는데요. 그래서 많은 분들이 저희 노래를 좋아해 주시지 않았나 하는 생각이 들기도 하고 또 멤버들과의 팀업 또 한목을 한것 같습니다. 또 이렇게 될수 있는 건 모두 다 팬분들 덕분이라고 생각을 합니다. What was the turning point for your band according to you? Um, when did you realize that y'all have made it big? What was that song that took you up on the charts? 어, 어떤 특정한 순간보다 저희 음악을 들어주시는 분들이 점점 많아지고 있다는 걸 느낄 때 놀라면서 벅찬 기분이 들고요. 최근에는 저희 앨범 미니소드 1 블루 아워가 어, 빌보드 200 차트에서 25위를 했을 때 Yeah. <웃음> 네, 전 세계에서 저희 음악을 정말 많이 들어주시고 있구나 라는 사실에 정말 놀랐고 정말 많이 감사했습니다. 네, 감사합니다. The music you made in 2020 focused on the youth making it through the COVID-19 pandemic. What made you do that? 어, 네, 지금 저희가 할수 있고 또 들려드릴 수 있는 이야기가 뭐가 있을까 되게 많이 고민을 했고 또 실제로 저희가 겪고 있고 또 많은 분들이 공감할 수 있는 주제를 선택했던 것 같아요. 어, 저희의 음악을 들으시는 많은 분들이 내 이야기 같다라고 느끼고 또 위로를 받으셨으면 하는 바람으로 음악 작업을 했던 것 같습니다. And guys, how was 2020 for you? Was it tough to make music because of the lockdown? 아니, 저희뿐만 아니라 많은 분들이 이제 평범했던 일상을 잃어버린 한 해였잖아요. 그래서 모두가 힘들었을 것 같은데 저희도 마찬가지로 저희 팬분들을 직접 만나지 못하는 상황이 아쉽고 안타깝고 제일 슬펐는데 그러면서 또 한편으로는 윌러스 서머가 나올 수 있었고 거기서 또 영감을 받는 부분도 있었어 갖고 팬분들과 직접 지금 만날 수는 없지만 또 다양한 방법으로 통화를 하고 노력하고 있고요 새로운 노래 들려드리고 더 멋진 퍼포먼스 보여드리기 위해서 바쁘게 보낸 것 같습니다. Your band is with the same label as BTS, one of the most popular bands in the world. Um, are you hoping to see similar kind of success? Are you working towards that? Oh, 항상 어, 방탄소년단 선배님들 보면서 진짜 많이 배우고 있거든요. 어, 저희 Tomorrow by Together도 선배님들처럼 저희만의 색깔과 개성 그리고 저희의 이야기를 담은 음악으로 어, 많은 대중분들 팬분들에게 사랑받는 가수가 되고 싶고요. 어, 그러니까 계속해서 성장해 나가는 모습을 보여드릴 테니 기대 많이 해주세요. You guys recently have been on number 25 on Billboard 200. Firstly, congratulations for that. What is the USP of your music that connects with your audience? 어, 아무래도 어, 저희의 이야기를 담기 때문에 저희 음악 속 진솔함이 좀 리스너 분들께 공감을 많이 얻는 것 같고요. 또 저희 음악을 들어주시는 분들께 감사하고 앞으로도 저희 음악으로 많은 이들과 소통하는 투모로 바이 투게더가 되도록 하겠습니다. 예. Yeah. 지켜봐 주세요. So when you're the group leader, uh, how do you keep the boys together? Is it easy being a leader of the group? 음... 사실 막큰 일을 하지 않아도 그냥 리더라는 자리 자체가 좀 무겁게 다가오고 부담감도 책임감도 따르지만 멤버들과 정말 4, 5년 동안 연습생 기간 때부터 여러 일을 겪고 어려운 시기를 보내면서 같이 살아와 갖고 이제는 서로에 대해서 정말 잘 알고 있다고 생각을 해요. 그래서 같이 있는 것만으로도 무슨 생각하는지 알것 같고 든든하고 그래서 같이 뭐 어려운 게 있어도 헤쳐나가고 해서 막 다른 리더라 힘든 건 없고 정말 그냥 다섯 멤버 다 같이 있을 때가 전 제일 즐겁습니다. Guys, how do you want to go about getting into new markets like India? Any plans of coming down here? 음, 전 세계 모아분들 앞에서 무대를 보여드리고 싶기 때문에 기회가 된다면 이제 인도에도 방문해 모아분들을 직접 뵙고 멋있는 퍼포먼스를 보여드리고 싶습니다. 늘 응원해 주셔서 감사합니다. Yeah, we love you, India. We, we love you, India. India.
Great guys, thank you so much for talking to Indie TV. Keep making the amazing music that you guys make and take care. Be safe. Thank you. We love you more. We love you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having us. Goodbye, Rohit. Goodbye, Bye. Rohit. Cause imagination's haunted. 우린 집이 마법이 끝이 나기 전에.